Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. So a lot of people have been wanting me to explain how I became the Hydrogen Man. And it's kind of an interesting story, but it's also a painful story, but I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys today because apparently the viewers wanna know. So basically what happened guys is when I was very young, I started having a lot of emotional pain. I went through some pretty traumatic things and I started having just incredible emotional pain. I wasn't physically ill, but I was emotionally just, I can't really begin to describe the amount of pain and I won't go into what was so traumatic that happened to me unless my viewers or people really wanna know that you can comment below and, and I'll share, even though I'm embarrassed, even though I'm very shy, believe it or not, I will do it because I think that the message is more important than me trying to avoid certain things due to my fears and, and, and me being shy. So once that began in my life, the most important thing in my life when I was young, and the one thing that I was looking for all my life was happiness, joy. I just wanted to be happy. I was so depressed. I was so miserable. I was highly suicidal. I was so unhappy to the point where I poisoned my body repeatedly because I did try to take my life so many times. And it was just a terrible, terrible experience. And that might have caused a lot of my physical issues that I eventually suffered down the road. As my life went on, I started having a lot of physical issues and it just continually got worse and worse and worse to the point where not only was I emotional in emotional pain, but then I began to be in physical pain. It, it was just the worst. In fact, I must say that the physical pain was literally worse than the emotional pain. And I was having both and it was destroying my life. I was so unhappy and I couldn't even get up and walk anymore. I was in so much pain. And so then that's when I began to start researching and trying to find ways to improve my health. I tried a lot of things. I never expected to be a health guru. I, a lot of times still don't see myself that way, but somehow I've been blessed with all this knowledge all of a sudden. Even when I talk about it, I still find it kind of odd to this day. I did make a prayer. I still remember the day that I was laying on my couch and I was just praying. I was like, God, please help me help me find the answer and if you do help me i will share it with the world and this is ultimately the two things guys that i really learned from all this pain all this suffering take it or leave it i really hope that it helps other people out there so they don't have to go through the things that i went through but the two things that i found out is one about happiness is gratitude once i lost something that i had for example like my legs and the inability to walk and being in so much pain once I lost something that was just given to me since birth and I was able to walk and run when I was younger, once I lost that, it just crushed me. It was so painful, but being able to have the ability to walk again, the gratitude, the joy, and I realized to myself like, man, why couldn't I have been happier when I was younger? Because gratitude is a choice, but sometimes we have to go through so much suffering in order to open up this door for gratitude, or we can just think about the things we're grateful, guys you know, the things we're grateful for. As strange as that may sound, and I know it sounds cliche, but really try to close your eyes and imagine how grateful you are for your hands, for your legs, for your sight that you can see. Maybe your smell and you can smell like a rose or a beautiful flower or a beautiful essential oil. You know, taste, all these little things, even just being able to hear. These are gifts that we truly have and we need to be more grateful for them. People in our lives, and that brings me to my next point because the second thing that I ultimately learned from all this is I realized that the most important thing, the thing that brings me the most joy in my life is not only gratitude, but being good to others. And it's odd because I realized that this is something very basic that has been written even in old scriptures, even like the Bible. Love one another as I have loved you, you know, as a man named Jesus or Yeshua once said, or love your neighbor as yourself. The more that I try to do for others, the better I feel in my life. I don't even value, unfortunately, whether it's a good or bad thing, I, there's a lot of things that I don't value in life, like how fancy my clothes are or how fancy my car is. I drive a total piece of you know garbage car, unfortunately, but I just don't put my money or the thing you know in these things that a lot of people value. The things that I value are I just know that someday when I meet my maker, I want to be able to be before him and say, I did something good for people. I know that he put me through this journey to learn the things that I've learned, and I know that it'd be a shame if I didn't share them. And it's been a very difficult decision for me to make 
when I finally you know, made that decision within myself, this is what I'm gonna do. I want to help people. You guys can email me directly, as you know, at uprising144k at gmail.com. You know I will talk to you, even if you just need somebody to talk to. You know that if you're having health issues, I'll be happy to talk with you about it, maybe even share some of the things that I've done. All sorts of things of this nature, but you can certainly watch my videos. I do get a lot of emails and I spend a lot of time on the phone talking with people. But I wanna say even thank you for the people out there who have reached out to me and have inspired me to talk about this more because I haven't shared a lot about myself and I'm still hesitant to, but I'm trying to take a chance here because I believe that it's important. I believe the message that I have is more important than me you know, being too afraid to talk about certain things. So I really hope that you guys you know, find this information helpful. And in the end, guys, obviously you know that I found hydrogen, but I've also learned not just about hydrogen, about clean water. Clean hydrogen, those are the most important things that I've seen that improve my health dramatically. But also, you know, the, the, the lifestyle changes, different foods that I'm eating, everything I buy is organic. It may be more expensive, but I would say easily 90% or more of the food that I buy. I try to, you know, lower the amount of pesticides that I'm consuming and just try to treat this body better. And I think loving others as you love yourself, that's part of loving yourself, is treating this body right. You know, doing right by the body and then also doing right by other human beings. I just think this is so important. It's a basic thing, but I know that it's important. So I hope you guys found this information helpful. I hope it answers the people's questions out there who've been asking, hey, Hydrogen Man, how did you become the Hydrogen Man? And hopefully, you know, yes, I hope it answers those questions. And please, thank you for supporting the channel. You know, give it a thumbs up. It really does help. It helps the algorithm, people to find these videos. Please share the videos too. I don't have you know this huge YouTube channel that I spent a bunch of money on. You can see that, that I don't edit the videos. You know I don't have deep funding. I don't have fancy cameras. I don't pay for promotional ads or anything like this, guys. This is all from word of mouth. So you guys can please share the video to friends on Facebook or or I don't know Twitter, Instagram, whatever it is that people do. I'm not a big techie guy, so I don't actually know. But share this information out there because I really believe strongly that it can help a lot of people. I've seen the science, I've seen it help people, I've seen it help me, I've seen it help my friends and my family. And so I know how important this is. So thanks again for watching. Hopefully it answered your questions. I'll see you guys next time on the next video.